What's going on guys? All right, kind of in your face right now, but I do want to talk about uh, a product. And this product is the Vivid Plus Blade. So this is, this is a great blade. This has actually been my favorite blade. I used to use this Alpha 9mm for the longest time, and I always get 30 degree blades just like that, so that's your angle. Uh, great for uh, finesse when it comes to cutting and trimming. So I recommend, I highly recommend 30 degree, 30 degree blades as opposed to 45s. Uh, this blade, this knife does come with a 30 degree blade in it already. So it's got a couple of nice features to it, which I'm going to just talk about, which is a little bit different. First of all, this one I find is a little bit too small and not, it doesn't give you quite that same grip that you, that you want. So switching to this didn't take long because it actually feels a lot more comfortable in your hand. The fact that I can hold the blade right there with that little indentation makes a huge difference. It's like drawing. It's really, really beautiful. Uh, you know, other than that, I can hold it like this and it's very ergonomic. It's a really nice blade to handle as opposed to this one becomes a little bit more uh, rolling around in your hand and you can make more mistakes with this thin little metal blade. So I do like it for that reason, just by handling it alone. On top of that, uh, it does have a little feature on it, which is kind of cool. It's for cutting your knifeless tape, all right? So that little notch right there is for cutting your knifeless tape. Now, you don't have to use it. You can use it. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. I, use, I sometimes forget that it's there because it's a feature that I'm not used to. But once you use it a few times, I think you'll get, get the handle of it. Um, on top of this, the blade retracts really, really nicely. It's, there's not a lot of resistance here. I find there's a bit more resistance with this one here. It can be good or bad, I suppose. It could maybe open if you keep it in your pocket. Uh, I used to keep my blade in my pocket all the time. Now I, wear, I try to wear a pouch as much as I can, but uh, even then I don't always wear a pouch. But that's a kind of a nice benefit because it's really easy and it has, to me, more clicks on it. So it, it's definitely more adjustable. Like look how far I can put that out, right? On a minimum. Let's see the, the, the shortest I can put this one out. Okay, so it's about the same. This one goes out a little bit further after that. So the clicks are a lot closer, all right? So there's a bit more fine tuning as far as adjustments go. Uh, it does have a, a blade breaker on the back, that little part, that little section right here, just pops off. Make sure you retract your blade first and it does have an auto lock here. So you have to push that little clip down. You take your blade out, you snap it off using this piece right here on the end and that's it, you put your blade in a blade box or somewhere safe. Now, on top of that, it does have a plastic guard. So it's very guarded, not like this one, where it's all metal. This can scratch your paint or your chrome wrap or your wrap in general. This one is completely plastic. And on top of that, it has a plastic guard that runs around very close to the actual metal edge. So that, with that being that way, it means that if we actually, actually rub the paint, we're not going to scratch anything. You can scuff it, but scuffs can be um, buffed out and there's not an issue with that. When you scratch the paint, then we run into an issue, right? So that could be, it could be through the clear coat and into the paint and then we're in trouble. So it definitely protects it. Uh, the actual tip itself, as you can see on this one, is a lot more flat, while this one is a little bit, little bit more pointed. So it does give you a bit more protection in my mind. And that's kind of like where I usually cut for the most part here or here, right there, where it, where it lines up nice and flush with that line right there. This blade is more, this handle is more meant for a 45 degree blade. You can use 30s in them, no problem, but it doesn't quite look exactly the same, right? So I like my blade right about there. The blades I have in here are actually uh, yellow tool ones, they're amazing. They're, they're carbide blades, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Uh, another thing, I was just going to read through it because I just want to know if I missed anything. Yeah, so it's for right or left handed. So just in case you're, you're right or left handed or both, you can use it on either hand. Sometimes you do have to cut with your left hand uh, just because it's easier to get into certain areas. Uh, Anti-sway clamp. So yes, uh, that's it. Yeah, so pretty basic stuff, guys. It's not a very technical blade, but it does have a couple of cool features. I do like it. It's still lightweight. It's probably it weighs about the same as the metal one. Maybe not much more. It gives you a nice ergonomic grip. And yeah, it's just one that I use a lot. Actually, the guys here in the shop 
have all have taken them. There's like 10 blades all around the shop or knives where they're just using them for one guy does tins, one guy, another guy does some wraps too, and they just use it for whatever. So they're, uh, they have these, but they don't like these. They like these a lot better. So mine always go missing. But anyways, guys, just want to do a little video on that. Premium Precision Cutter by Vivid. It's an awesome little blade. Great value for it too. I mean, I think they're both roughly around the same price. You just get more with this as opposed to this. Anyways, guys, that's all I want to show you. Thank you for watching. Take care.